by the eight. It's freezing up here. Once our business here is concluded, I'm going to request relocation. This? This is Frostcrag's fire. Do you think you know about it? It's rather hard to miss, I would say. Ah, uh, well, I have to wonder. What are you thinking, standing here, in one of the most famous magical locations in all of Cyrodiil? Well, um, uh, it's, uh, it's awe-inspiring, to say the least. I've seen it from a mile away or so, uh... My thoughts exactly. Adventures like this are why I joined the college. You don't get to experience the sights the college offers you with guilds like the Synod, and being an independent mage is just so lonely. True that. Uh, have you found anything interesting during your time here? I'm actually from the college myself, by the way, so, um... Oh, plenty. This tower has been sealed for almost 150 years, so everything is still fresh. Can you feel the old magics? I'm sorry, but I can't let you in on the specifics of my findings. Our guild prides itself on its ability to keep dangerous knowledge safely away from the common man. Right. Well, um, I'm not exactly the common man. How long have you been up here? We've all been here since the mines over in our headquarters in Water's Edge decided so. I guess they've decided Frostcrag Spire was of enough magical significance to be claimed as a semi-official signature. Oh, that's new. If you mean how long have I been here, well, before this, I was a member of one of our oldest and most respected signatures, the Draeklau signature. Unfortunately, there isn't much left of the place now for me to be a member anymore, so I came out here, to the frontier. Well, a frontier of sorts. Well, um, I hope you don't mind if Good I... Hello uh, there, traveler. What's your business in Frostcrack Spire? Nothing official, I just had some questions. Wanted to poke around a bit. I used to be in the college myself, actually. Hmm. I suppose this is still a College of Whispers signature. Or almost one. Fine. Just ask your questions, then make your way out. We don't need Synod spies or vagabonds roaming around the spire. <sighs> Look, do I have to hand you people my diploma? I'm not going to touch anything, just so you know. Everything's going to be fine. Look at the runes. I don't believe... Uh, I don't believe I can place those runes off the top of my head. Obviously there's some kind of ward set up in here. Keeping what out, I'm not entirely sure. Oh, they've really, uh... They've really taken quite good care of this place. You you don't mind if my... If my dog hangs around in here with me, do you? He's rather, um... This territory belongs to the College of Whispers. What brings you to the top of this frigid mountain? Um, well... Mostly just poking around, Watch but, um... Watch your step on the way out. Right, I will... I just wanted to know if, um, if you mind a dog. Ah. Right. Oh, I'll never get used to that feeling. Ooh. Okay. Well, I can't exactly tell the dog to stay put. Ah, another door. That leads out to a balcony, presumably. And look at this. There's a nice little garden in here. You know, I've always wanted to start a garden. I'm not- I don't have much of a green thumb, though. Last time I tried to kill something- er, last time I tried to grow something, I, uh, I managed to kill it. So... Look at that. I wonder if it's- I wonder if these are being magically grown. And that nerd root. Hello? Um, uh, nice mask. Yes, it is. Supplied by our colleagues in Water's Edge. We may be practitioners of necromancy, but that does not mean we have to stand the intolerable stench which comes with its study. It certainly has prevented a fair bit of fainting on my end. Not that I would actually faint, mind you. Just an expression. 
No, don't worry about it. I, uh, I know the uh, symptoms. So what are you working on? Cataloging. You don't need to know the details. The College of Whispers would not be named as such if we continually blurted out our findings to passerby. Obviously. You, um... You seem a bit on edge. Bye. But that's none of my business. Oh boy. Cataloging. The thing that I hated most. I remember getting assigned to the library in one of my semesters. Oh, it's just oh boy, it's cold out here. Oh, Hello? Um, I I do believe you have me mistaken for somebody you? else. Have we met? Who's um, who's Carland? What do you mean, who's Carland? <laughs> Stop being ridiculous. Let's get back to our research already. Um. Right then. Where are you going? Um, just looking. Just looking around. Oh, there's not a handrail there. Oh. Let's be careful, Scruffy. Well. Alright, let's see what is... That's the one we came through. Let's see what's up here, shall we? Oh, that always gives me the willies. Alright. Um, speaking of willies, we are rather high up right now. Look at that thing. I have never seen anything like this. I've not really, uh... I'm not- I'm not entirely sure what this is. Well, aside from a spire. Hello, Bruma. I- since my studies generally, um... Generally focused on ancient... Uh, Aeliad and, well, ancient well, Merrick in general. What did you say? What? I've said nothing. Just muttering to the dog, it's fine. Uh, we should probably be going before anybody else... <sighs> I'll remember to bring my papers with me next time. If I remember where I left them. I'm gonna go all the way back to Coral to find them anyway, and I have more important business to attend to, namely... Skyrim. Okay, let's be on our way, pup. Uh, as I was saying, my research generally... Uh, was more focused on ancient Merrick architecture and customs and cultures and whatnot. And, um, yeah, I don't, uh... Whatever this is, whatever the, um... This is more modern than what I've generally tended to study. I can't even make a guess as to what it's actually supposed to be. Or when it was built. I'm sure I had that knowledge tucked away in my brain somewhere along the line, but I, um... I have since forgotten. Um... Which also, I... I seem to have lost the path. Well, that's a bit of a pickle, isn't it? Okay, well... I got so distracted, I lost the- I lost my way. Um, oh, right, it's- it's all the way down here. Mm. Eh, nice. What was I talking about? Scruffy, what was I talking about? Of course. Never rely on a dog for conversation. Dogs don't generally speak. Anyway. You alright there, Scruffy? Yep, he's fine. Oh, that's what- I think I was about to say something about my knowledge of conjuration being one of those things that I once learned and forgot about. I know I have a treatise on Lorcan particles somewhere in the back of my mind. I remember the, uh, the field trip we once took to, um... We actually had a unit on... on Morrowind, and... Uh, went to go study under some Telvanni mages. 
One of which was a scholar by the name of um, something something I don't remember, but I remember he always talked like this. It was always with a lisp. And I can't remember his name to save my life. Although I do remember the thing about the Lorcon particles. It was rather, um... He didn't very well get along with Neloth, if I remember correctly. Well... Obviously we're not getting down that way, but the view is stunning, so... Let's see if I can remember my way back to Bruma. See if we can... I wonder what that hawk's yelling about. We'll get back to Bruma. I'll find the dog a new, um, a new and better owner. And then traips my way into Skyrim. Hopefully, hopefully whoever is manning the pale pass right at the moment is actually going to let me through. With all of the war and whatever going on up there, I am. Um, it might be a bit of a challenge. I guess we'll find out. Dead rabbit. Dead wolf. I wonder how Scruffy is doing on food. I'm sure he's fine. He's kind of a uh, resilient little pup. Oh, ah, misjudged that one a little bit. Always roll out of your jumps. Keeps, uh, keeps your knees from breaking. I once rolled an ankle on an expedition. That was fun. I myself am not a very good restorationist. Uh, something about... Uh, I don't know. Needless to say, I'm not very good with healing spells nor conjuration spells. I was never cut out to be a necromancer. Which is fine by me, frankly. <laughs> I probably should have joined the Synod. But you know what? The college was nearer. I remember my mother telling me something along the lines of... Ah, something something. You're not cut out to be a warrior, Arden, so you might as well be a mage. And study with the... Uh, Study with the college. They're an esteemed college, Arden. And so I did, and here I am. Ah. And I've got to be careful. <laughs> ah. Not that I really mind. Though I am much more interested in the is that what I think it is? Oh dear. Oh dear. Scruffy, stay out of the way. Scruffy! Stay- oh, you just killed my dog! Ah! Roll somewhere else, you big- ah. You killed my dog. You... Yep. He was wearing a ring around his collar. I might as well... carry that for a while. You... Well, I don't think I'm ever, ever going to abide by werewolves. Percine, you tempt my rage. Like I would ever go picking on a Daedra, but a Daedric Prince. Well, that puts a bit of a wrench in- you best be careful. There's werewolves on these roads. That's Gautier Manor. 
Perhaps a bit of a kink in my plan. A spanner in the works, if you will. Well, I have no need to go back to Bruma now, I suppose. I was saying that I, uh, at, at some point I was saying that I wished I could get to Skyrim sooner, but that's not how I expected this to go. Here, dear. Careful, dear. <laughs> There's wolves and worse. Well, there's the road. Well, I might as well head to Skyrim then. I am still carrying a letter from a Jarl in, <coughs> in Falkreath. All right. I guess this is goodbye for now, Cyrodiil. I'll miss you. I will miss you. I do believe this is the first time, other than my quick trip to Morrowind, that I will have ever been outside of Cyrodiil. That's a bit sobering. Not that I'm drunk. But, um... Perhaps I should be. Well, that doesn't bode well, does it? The wind is blowing off the mountains and snow is coming directly into my face. Thankfully, I have a face mask. Always good for cold weather or when you're delving around in dusty old caverns and, um, yeah, dust. Yes, many fond memories here. Many not so fond memories. It'll be nice to put that all aside for a what is that? Is that just ore glowing? Oh yep, yeah, that's just um that's just ore. Ruby geode. I'm not much of a miner. Otherwise I'd, um, I'd have at it, but... Nope, I will leave that for some prospector to come along and find. Hopefully I will, uh, I'll be able to leave some of my poorer memories at the gates and make something of a new life for myself. Ah, the Sentinel. Oh wait a minute. This is where this is where that um that treasure map was pointing. The Sentinel, the road north, which means that this treasure should be right down the cliffs that are right behind it. Because north is behind me, south is facing where I'm facing. Presumably. So If I head down here, there should be some treasure somewhere. Right, it looks like... Ah, it looks like it might be hidden right in these bushes down here. Down here. There we go. Um, let's see. Ah, yes, there it is. Well hidden indeed. Empty soul gem, ruby, steel, no use for steel, but I do know that people in Skyrim do appreciate their smiths, so... <sighs> right. So I was going to say earlier, I'm still carrying around a letter from a Jarl of Falkreath, wherever that is. 
I suppose I should probably get that out of the way before I hit a earth hole. Well, depending. Whichever is on the way first. I imagine Sarthol is well to the north of um, anywhere, really. Given that it was the first Nordic settlement, or at Morin, I suppose, settlement in Skyrim. I know approximately where it's supposed to be in relation to the College of Winterhold, but uh, I don't know how to get there from here. I'll find out. Northward seems to be a relatively a, a good bet. Ah, oh, what happened here? More ill omens. This looks like Cutter's work, though. Well, or it would if that wasn't smoldering wreck. No identification on any of these people, or the horse. Hmm. What happened here? Not my business, probably. Still, that, the werewolf attack. That does not bode well for whatever misadventures I'm about to get up to in Skyrim. I have to actually get there first. There's an inn. At least I think that's an inn. I do believe that's an inn. I'm heading up to Pale Pass, right? This is the right direction. Well, it is dark. I think it's a good idea to stop in for the evening. 